All right, welcome back to another episode of Figs Talks Fights. I'm your host, Brian Figueroa, and today is going to be a different video. It's going to be about mass hysteria, cats and dogs living together. Shout out to Peter Vankman, but what the hell is going on? The UFC events may be canceled due to COVID-19, the coronavirus. What? Let's get into it. So, this week we have UFC Fight Night, I believe Fight Night 170, taking place in Brasilia, Brazil. And now all tickets have been refunded and nobody can come. If you're a South Park fan, it's like Cartman Land. You can't come. These guys are going to be fighting in an empty arena. The main event being Kevin Lee versus Brazil's Charles Oliveira, Du Bronx. This is a great fight card. And we should be here talking about what a sick fight card it is. But you're going to be hearing echoes of kicks, leg kicks being landed, shots being landed through a building. That's it. There's going to be fighters, the commission, okay, the production crew, their corners, and that's it. What is going on? Now, I guess Brasilia, Brazil has two cases of the coronavirus. I believe the country's total is in the 40s. Now, the large events, they're worried about people showing up and just spreading it along. Apparently, this is a very highly contagious, strong flu. Okay? Canceling events. Now, I guess the state of Ohio just announced that all major events are going to be canceled. Look, the UFC is bringing Francis Ngannou versus Rosenstrike there at the end of the month. I believe it's March 28th that's coming to Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. Now we're talking about canceling that event. Look, I'm even afraid to say this, but Khabib versus Tony Ferguson, five, even though they fought zero times, this is the fifth time they're scheduled to fight on April 18th, looking like both guys are healthy and ready to get after it, and this may actually happen. And now that event's being talked or talked about being canceled. I guess the United States is putting on a travel ban from Europe for 30 days. Holy shit! Are people overreacting? Are we being overly precautious? I mean, the flu goes around. Wash your hands regularly. Be careful. Don't just start making out with strangers. It's kind of gross anyways. Come on. Really? So Kevin Lee's going to take on Du Bronx this week anyways. I can't wait to see this fight. And I really hope the event can stick together. These guys put money and time, blood, sweat, and tears into a training camp. And both of them are looking hot right now. Kevin Lee has been a little bit of flip-flop since he fought for the interim title against Tony Ferguson back in, I believe, October of 2017, which a fight that he showed up with staph infection, which kills a hell of a lot more people statistically than coronavirus does. He fought with staph infection. No events getting canceled. What the fuck? But anyhow... Kevin Lee, since then, I think he's got a win over Barbosa, but he ran into trouble with um, RDA, okay? Ran into some trouble with uh, some other big guys up at uh, 170 pounds. Was that a good idea? Was it a bad idea? Comes back down to 155. Undefeated Gregor Galepsi takes a freaking nap. And Kevin Lee looks on fire since he's been with the TriStar training camp, okay? It's only been there for one fight. This is going to be the second fight there. Now, Charles Oliveira is on like a five-fight winning streak. Holy shit, before I even looked into this fight, already he was on a five-fight winning streak. When the hell did this happen? Du Bronx has been quietly creeping his way up there, okay? What a great fight. And then in your co-main event, you got the legend, jiu-jitsu legend, Damian Maya, who is a superb mixed martial arts and seems to be putting together the last few years, just getting back to his basics, back to his basics, back to his basics. 
I remember when Damian Maya, about 10 years ago, thought he could start being a kickboxer, and Nate Marquardt, I believe it was UFC 102, put out his lights in like something like 17 seconds. And slowly he's been getting his way back to the jiu-jitsu route since then. Great idea, Damian Maya. He's taking on Gilbert Burns. And Gilbert Burns is saying that he feels he could actually submit Damian Maya. Whew. I really hope this fight hits the mats because I can't wait to see it. But is it going to happen? Like, are we panicking too much over this coronavirus or not panicking enough? I think the whole panic-stricken thing is getting a little too insane. The economic impacts ahead of us, I'm not an economist and I'm not a doctor, but it's clear as day to see that, you know, there's taking precautions and then there's just throwing caution to the wind, all right? I mean, people were talking about rating Area 51 when a strong flu is starting to become global People are already showing why you shouldn't have the information in Area 51. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? So I hope no more of these events get canceled. I hope fans that bought tickets and are in good health and do take good care of themselves, just come to the arena anyways. What's the big deal? Put them through. As soon as they come through the doors, you got to scan their tickets. Put some fucking Purell in their hands. Wipe it up. Move on with it. If there's even Purell left because everybody's running the stores in cats and dogs living together, mass hysteria, because we need to, you know, what the hell's going to happen? What if this? What if that? What if this? What if that? We're in a great place. Just take care of yourself. Okay. So keep your eye on this Columbus, Ohio event coming up on March 28th. I really hope they do not cancel in Ganu versus Rosen strike. And I'm not saying it for selfish reasons on, oh, I'd, I'd love to see that fight. Of course I'd love to see that fight. But I hope this COVID-19 thing can get contained enough where people can just go out and live their lives. And in times like this, and in certain and panicking times, sports and entertainment is what people look to get their mind off the day-to-day. -day. All right? Watching two combatants go at it put everything on the line, expose their heart and their mind and their soul and spirit in front of the general public. I mean, that's a great way to get your mind off of things and see the true human spirit and how much you can prosper. Let's all prosper through this shit, okay? If you're a doctor or has some insight or anything like this and you're coming across this video, leave some comments below. What are your thoughts? Too much panic? I'm leaning towards the too much panic. Let's just take care of ourselves and be a little bit more precautious before we start freaking canceling world events and everybody has to walk around with a gas mask on, you know, because of a strong flu. Educate me if I'm wrong. But geez, for those in Brasilia, stay safe, stay clean. I'm really sorry that you're going to have to watch it on television instead of going to the arena where you bought tickets to watch the fight. Should be a great fight card anyway, so tune in Saturday night. I can't wait to see it. I'm thinking Kevin Lee, let's see what he's really about because Du Bronx, this guy is wiry. He's great off his back. His Muay Thai is slick, okay? His leg kicks, oh, they're gonna be digging into it. He's gonna be digging into Kevin Lee with those leg kicks. Believe you me, and Kevin Lee requires on those thick legs to explode and get power off on his shots. I am more than certain Faraz Ahabi has him prepared, but can't wait to see it. So if you enjoyed what you heard here today, okay, subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts, and let's make a positive video next time and talk about how events are not being canceled. And let's not even think about canceling that Ferguson versus Habib fight. Fight must go on. Let's do it. Five times? Can you imagine scheduling it for the six? Don't imagine it. Don't put it out there. All right? Sorry I even said it. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you. Till next time.